What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony D. Too Wild, checking in once again back with the bank of the day, guys, on this week's last sneaker news of 2023. So let's go ahead and get straight into it, man. As far as sneakers go, there's not that many sneakers releasing this year. We're going to be talking about some stuff releasing in the first week of January, which even then, there's not that much stuff. But first things first, of course, the Pro Tro Black Mama dropped today and the world went crazy. I remember talking about these for a couple weeks ago, letting people know like these are going to be the most limited sneaker release in this month, really. People were talking about Powder Puff Girls. People were talking about Kobe uh, Grinches. And then once all that went by, they just focused on that and like, oh, I want those now. It's just funny seeing people like mind shift. This, this this has been though in my eyes the Grinch probably was number one this is number two I didn't care about powder puff girls and all that this was definitely a shoe that I really liked when I first saw it being actually like a black mamba shoe a representation probably one of the best representations of the black mamba and Kobe Bryant as far as just what the black mamba stands for so I, I really liked what they were doing here that's just my opinion but I like it you know and it dropped it flew I like these more than the halos the halos were the all white pairs that were Kobe 8 halos all white these are the all black and these are the black mamba the Kobe 4 pro I, I really like this shoe a lot and uh it flew off i ain't gonna cap i should have got the shirt and i had the opportunity to, to get it they were sitting on sites they're probably still sitting if they are if you link me to it guys i'll probably go pop it off and grab it asap but that being said i ain't gonna cap gotta call myself a hype beast for not for not moving on that next up uh kd16 we haven't seen a release date on this yet i didn't even see this until right and this is my first time seeing this the kd16 bad pays homage to his mother wanda her signature i'm wondering what the bad okay the second bad installment explores a two-tone mesh that is darker violet tints these are definitely a different look and this bottom's fire not something i'm rocking i did say and i'm going to speak on it now we're going to talk about the return of nike basketball it's nice it's clean but it's a pass for me and then going in we go down here we're going to swing through because a lot of these are just december but a lot of these don't even have release dates like we have these bloom the puma blue hive and like these are fire as well these are some more colorways didn't even take me nowhere more mother more colorways though for uh mellow but there's no date so these might end up releasing in january in 2024 at this point you feel me we're already halfway through the week and the 31st is the last day it's kind of funny that monday is the first that's that's, that's dope it's pretty dope actually so as you guys can see, I mean, we're already in the first. So technically speaking, there's no more shoes really releasing for the rest of this week. No Saturday, nothing. We're going to be going straight into it. And I think from the sneakers end, this right here, we could talk a little bit about it. We'll talk about more about it next week. But I think this is going to be a big time release. This is like the OG Charles Barkley release. And these release like every other year. I think the last time these released in 2021. Retroing in true retro form in 1994. So they've been doing that, like bringing it back in the true form. That's been the new little gimmick, at least. Let me see. I'm of attention i'm just trying to figure out where what's the difference here in its true form so yeah archives 2024 barkley's original varsity purple accent is scheduled to make a return sometime in 2024 so i guess they're saying that the varsity purple is its truest form and damn the silhouette's 40th year anniversary hold on bro what you mean 30th year's anniversary these shits came out in 94 i ain't no damn 40 years old you mean 30th year anniversary these came out in am i about to turn 40 bro i wasn't born in 94 by the way i was born in 91 but i'm just saying people in 94 have to be turning 30 this year or next year uh, that yeah i'm sticking to that they, this must be a typo but uh retails 170 the previous pairs are already going for like above retail so i expect these to do fairly well for the most part so keep your eyes peeled on this okay just keep your eyes peeled now there's nothing else you know the next thing is the yellow oh uh okars okar okars i ain't gonna say it correctly right now but i've been saying it wrong okar 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 hi, hi, let me see let's just see because i've been saying it wrong i need to hear it Okar. 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 In American English, it is normally pronounced as Okar. Although, in Okar. American English, you would write the R after the E. Okar. O. Okar. Got you. Okar. Ochre, 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 ochre. Cool. So the ochre are dropping, and of course these. I, I kind of want to see these. These look, these look kind of, these look kind of sexy. I ain't gonna cap. Definitely not gonna keep it. Not gonna front y'all, but definitely a sexy shoe at the end of the day. Now, with that being said, let's dive in because we did actually on the main channel. This should have dropped, or this will be dropping the same day as this. So this is kind of back to back kind of videos, but I gotta just be honest on what I think is kind of legitimately one of the big things, and that's Nike basketball is back. We have so many Nike basketball shoes releasing in 2024, and uh, I think that's what we should be talking about today, in all honesty, right? Hell, we just 
saw one right here. These are coming back in 2024. I didn't even know it's been um, 10, 10 years. I think these last released in 2014. I actually own a pair, I actually had the video. So they're bringing back the Kobe 9s and the Kobe 9 Pro Tro for a uh, Christmas release for his 10th year anniversary. Now this is so far a rumor and I'm kind of curious on the price point because these were expensive even back then, but uh, I'm all for it. I'm all for for the review. I have a pair. I don't need to get rid of it. I can see them though making these more vibrant, even though the previous pair was more vibrant as well. But still got my pair. Phenomenal basketball shoe. Hard to rock nowadays, but phenomenal shoe. And I'm all for Kobe's retroing, bro. Like I'm all for it at the end of the day. So to each his own with that. But that's one. And we're gonna just type them in. Another one is the KD Galaxy. These are coming out. That's gonna be releasing on February 16th for a retail price point of $130. Definitely an instant comp for me. Some people are gonna talk shit about it because it's a weird looking basketball shoe now. But back in 2013, everybody and their mother was foaming on, on this shoe. So it's just one of those things we're dealing with now. People don't like these shoes. They, they think they're trash. It's just a weird space. Like these look good back then and they still look good now. Basketball shoes are definitely not the easiest to, to rock at all times, but it still is a good shoe in my opinion. So I'm not, I'm not going to knock it. That's just me. I like the shoe. I'm going to go after the shoe. And speaking of KD and the KD4, we're going to bring up next the Nerf. See, this, this is the shoe that going to make people say these ain't ugly no more because this is the shoe that dropped and was unable to be copped and everybody went crazy for them. They were super limited, but supposedly now these are coming back as well. This is probably the most limited KD4 shoe was this one. The All-Star was definitely maybe the most sought after because it was available to the public. This one, in my opinion, was probably the most limited, hardest to get, the packaging, everything along with it. I mean, it came, you see the pictures yourself. It came with, with everything, all this. So definitely was a, a, a more harder to obtain sneaker. Now, speaking of that, a little bit more hard to obtain, but not harder than this. And also releasing is, of course, the Weatherman. So we got Weatherman, Galaxy, and Nerf. These are all coming out in 2024. This was a, a definitely a harder to release shoe, a shoe that did fairly well back in its time. 2013, 2014 is when these shoes were all releasing. I believe that these released in 2013, and I want to say that the um, the KD4 All Star released in 2014. Could be wrong here, but I want to say that was. Or maybe it was 2013, 20, 2012, 2013. I want to say that because even here it says All Star 2011. Let's just check it out because I uh, my dates are all over the place. Galaxy. So there you go. So 2011, 2012, 2013. I would say or 2011, 2012, because these came out like around that time. These came out 2012. These came out in February. The other pairs were coming out in the December. So it's a little bit of a differences in the dates there. Forgive me if I'm all over the place, but hey, it is what it is. We just getting the sticker news in the middle of the week after Christmas and in between New Year's. So I'm all over the place, okay? But these are coming out. Another one to be added to the list. Next up, speaking of Galaxy, we got the Phone Posit Galaxy. Bam. These are coming out, said to be rumored, May 27th. Uh, so wait, no, 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 was this, was it May? 2024, I thought I saw like fall time or something like that, maybe I'm wrong. I also saw somewhere in January. These are all over the place, but these are coming in, uh, I believe it, these are coming, coming along in 2024, so be on the lookout. One of the biggest phone positive releases of all time, I'm thinking of Galaxy and Paranormals. Back to back, them are some of the most limited, hyped up and all the above. They dropped the Big Bang 2.0 back in 2017, 18. I had a pair, they were nice, I got rid of them though because I want these. These, and now I can get these and the foams they got me at about three pairs because back-to-back -back foams just like back-to-back -back KDs we got to keep it moving we got the Royals these are coming back in 2024 as well with a forgotten detail and that is the Nike swoosh and the colored carbon fiber material that was being brought in with it so this is a part of the iconic phone number advertisement that they are bringing it back in this form right here because previous versions were slightly different with gray foam positive material and I believe no blue outlining so so we have another foam. Like, can we already say, bro, y'all see where I'm coming at with Nike basketballs back? Maybe if you're a young guy, maybe this ain't hitting it for you. But for me, it's it's hitting, okay? It's hitting pretty goddamn good because we got an eggplant coming out in 2024 as well. I feel like I'm on some goddamn uh, pond war, or, you know, we got one over here, two over there, three hundred, four hundred, four hundred, five hundred, five hundred, five hundred, like that. We're doing one of those things, the auctions. These are coming out. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. These did come out in 2017. I didn't grab them back then. I will be grabbing these though, okay? These will definitely be added to the list and 240 will have to come out the pocket. We've been seeing a lot of the metallic reds. We saw the black anthracites. Now we got some more OG colorways coming in 
royal and eggplant and um i'm all for it i'm all for it and not even that like the fact that we just brought all those up we don't we also got to take into consideration the shoe that we already talked about is a part of the basketball as well and we don't have to re-talk about it but what i'm just trying to say is that the barkley is also nike basketball coming back this year now this is just some of the things that we're seeing down the pipeline coming in 2024 this is jordan brand wise but now rumored that the columbia is coming back i mean god Damn, bro. I got to sell my Columbia now. I got a B-grade version of mine, but these are coming back retro, supposedly. It's going to be a big time release. Bugs Bunny 38s. I'm ready for the real. I'm ready. I, hopefully, we see a Bugs Bunny drop this year in the 8s because we did get the playoff 8, right? It's only right to do the, the Bugs Bunny 8 now at this point. But, whoa, the Black Cat 3 is finally making a return. This will be my most anticipated sneaker this year. And why am I so goddamn bright right now? I'm already bright enough. Holy crap. This is it. This is the banger right here. This is all coming in right now on the press, bro. I just did a top 10 anticipated sneakers of 2023. That's dropping to uh, 2024. That's dropping today. And I already know people are going to be flaming me now, but they need to understand that, bro. I did not know the Black Cat. The, if y'all remember, the Black Cat 4 went stupid. These are about to go dumb. But yeah, man. I mean, really, we don't have nothing down the pipeline as far as sneaker news. We just have a lot of anticipation, a lot of buildup a lot of what is to come so i really wanted just to talk to y'all and uh tell y'all thank y'all for 2024 or 2023 and um yeah i'll see y'all next year man i'm out man i love y'all peace